Hey, yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Wayne6578 bringing you guys another Madden 17 Money Pass Play. And this is part two of my Bear Down Passing Scheme. We're still in rolling with that. We're still in the Chicago Bears playbook, rolling with that bunch offset formation. And the play is called Bunch Drive. As you can see, this is how I like to set my roster. I like to have Kevin White, my fastest receiver, and my left receiver. I like to have Alshon Jeffrey at my slot. And my right receiver, I like to have my fastest second route running, which I'm rolling with Eddie Royal. And I like my regular tight end, decent speed, great catching, great route running, Miller. And I'm rolling with the regular running back, Jeremy Langford. Good catching, like I said, in all my plays for this bear down passing scheme, we'll be utilizing that running back some. So I like to roll with that. Let's get into the play and the breakdown against man defense. Now this is a regular play without any adjustments. The only thing I like to do is slant my square receiver. Now, um, one thing I would tell you in man defense, if you notice that that cornerback is playing on the inside, sometimes he plays that slant really good. We'll run it a few times, but our reads are gonna be square, circle, triangle, R1, which is the best route on this in this play, and then lastly, X. So we're going to try to run it a few times and hit square. See how he plays? You got to wait for that. He kind of plays it good. He does that little stutter step. But once you hit X, I mean, once you hit square, you're going to hit circle is your next read. So circle really just gets open against man defense. It's like a drag route. And then after that, you're going to hit your triangle receiver. Again, the only thing we're doing, we're slanting square. We're going to hit our running back out of the backfield. He should get open if we give him some time. Get on there and beast on and picked up, pick up yards with that beast. And then next we're going to hit R1. Now like I said, this is the best route on the field. You're going to have to get into lab and practice how to throw this. But as soon as this guy hits his cut to the outside, you're going to pass lead to the outside. And you want to try to rat catch that to pick up some more yards. So again, let's hit R1 again. As soon as he makes his cut... And we got smacked in our face. You can sometimes block that running back if you want to get more protection. But again, we don't need that. As soon as he gets his cut. And that one's passed a little bit too early. But we want to pass that a little bit quicker. We'll hit it one more time. Pass lead to the outside as soon as he hit his cut right there. And pick up as many yards as you can. And lastly, you'll have your X receiver open. So you just hit your X receiver with the pass lead to the sideline, and you try to beast. Next, let's break down cover three. Okay, this is the cover three set. Same setup, man. We're just gonna slant route that square receiver. And in a cover three, we're gonna read square, circle, X, maybe, and then triangle last. So you, in cover three, you're gonna try to hit square right there. You notice that those cornerbacks are backed off. Let's hit that guy again. It's a quick pass. Hit square, pick up as many yards as you can. Next, you're gonna look at circle. Circle should be open right in the middle of the field after he passes that linebacker right there. You pick that up, get to the sideline, or try to cut it up field quickly. Let's hit circle one more time. Right after he passes that linebacker. And you try to pick up some yards. <clears throat> and I like to pass that as soon as he passes that linebacker. And I just run to the outside, right there. Let's run to the outside, try to get some yards. X is usually not open in cover three. <coughs> but sometimes it is right there. And you got to really watch how he's playing that linebacker because he will be playing that if they have great users. <coughs> but again, you don't have a lot of time. So like I said, X is iffy. So you got to move around in that pocket. And then lastly, you have triangle. If you don't block him, he'll get open once he gets towards the sideline, just like that. Get as many yards as you can. Next, let's break down that cover four. Now, this is the play against cover four. Same setup. Now, we're just going to slant that square receiver. Our reads are going to be triangle, circle, square, and then lastly, R1 sometimes, depending on what cover four they're calling. So, again, we're going to hit triangle first. If we know it's the cover four, because he'll be open. And he's wide open. We can get a lot of yards, get it to the outside and get those yards. The only way they can stop that is if they use it. After triangle, we're going to go to circle. 
Circle will be open again in the middle of the field. Pick up some yards. After circle, you're gonna hit square. If everything is covered, you can hit square in the middle of the field right there. Pick up some yards. Now, if you're going to R1 against the cover four, you have to really wait it out. And it's, you have to really see how they're playing that coverage. And the coverage four, if you wait way to the end and pass lead down, You'll be it's a little pocket there you'll be able to get that don't throw that like that's against man defense because they will pick that off just like that that's how you throw that one kind of iffy it really destroys man as you can see in the gameplay guys so that's the breakdown for the gun bunch offset formation bunch drive my bear down passing scheme part two i hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. It's your boy Wayne6578, and I am out.